Are you working on a project that you need to capture your screen? I will show you how you can do that in Canva and how many different ways you can do that in Canva. So let's go. So the first thing you need to do is find your record button. So there's two locations for this. One would be in your uploads. It says right here, record yourself. And the second location would be videos. So you can also say here, record yourself. So when you're ready, press your record yourself button and this will pop up. So this is what this looks like. Here's your camera over here. Um, you have some effects to go with your camera if you want to some filters and stuff like that for your camera. You can also have a different shape frame if you would like, and you can mirror image that. So if you have like writing on your shirt and you want it to be able legible and not backwards, you're gonna do that. And you can also cut your camera off. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna pick out your setting. So if you wanna only do your camera, you'll press this one. And that'll record. It looks weird. It's going to record right here. So, but you can make this full screen after the fact. So, and it'll be square and it'll look normal. Don't fret. So the second option is your screen and your camera together. So you have three options in the window that's up here. You have just the tab alone. So we're going to just show you what the tab alone looks like. And I'm going to share that. So that's just a tab of Canva, right? So we're going to go back up in here and then we're going to look at it as a window. So we'll come over here to the window and share. And then this is what that looks like as a window. So that shows your entire thing. So if you want to need to toggle between two tabs, you can when you're doing your video. And then the third option is the entire screen. So if you do the entire screen, what happens there is because I'm sharing the screen elsewhere on the other one is you see like this, but it, you can actually do, if I go and do this, will it do it? Oh, I think it hit the wrong one. That's why. So let's, let's try a different screen. Okay. Entire screen. It should be, it should be screen two. So screen two. And you can see that's the desktop. So if you need to go and show your desktop, like you're going, oh, hit this icon here and then do this, then you can do that there. The other option is, is just straight up screen. So if you do screen, you can also get the same options, whether you want to do a tab, go back and do a tab or anything like that. But if you do the screen, you can still, um, if you say camera or whatever, the little camera thing should pop back up. So you'll go back to screen and camera. But you can just do screen uh, and you can put in your microphone and you'll see this here. When you see this here, it's I'll show you a way afterwards how to take that off. So when now that you've got all your settings the way you want them, you'll hit the record button. And if you're doing voice, I always make sure to look and see if this little ribbon right here is moving. And then you'll hit the record button. You'll see three, two, and one. And now it's recording. You see the red box. You see that your voice is recording. And then when you're done, you're done. We're going to push save and exit. And it should Thank you. And my voice is going to be making noise here. So when it's uploaded, you'll have a little thing and this will be like, if you have one like this, it's just got your voice on it. So what I do with that, if I need it, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and make that transparent and then it disappears, but you still have your audio because your audio is going to be in this little box right here. Now, if you have a video that's inside of that, what you can do is you're going to go down and say you want to do it half the screen, half this one. So what you can do is you go in here and you can detach the video. And then you can get rid of that frame. And then if you need to, you can like make that video if you want to, whatever size you want to of your face or whatever it is. And then you can take this one and you can manipulate it and make this one a different size over here. And then if you want to have like different things, here's my face and here's my screen and here's my screen. So that's, that's a tip up to you for you. And that's how you record a screen. Um, the other thing is, is if you don't like your audio, 
you can just go back in here, record yourself with just the audio and just do the audio part. And then you can ixnay this and you still have your video. So you can voice over on that video if you really need to. You're like, oh, that, that just sucked so bad. So I'm going to do a voiceover. So that's another option you can do. And that's how you screen record. And if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.